Yes, welcome. Today we are going to be looking at the concepts of total, average, and marginal productivity. We are going to be looking at what? The concept of total, average, and what? Marginal productivity. What is productivity? Really, what is productivity? Hmm? Productivity. That is the quantity of something that is manufactured, is it? If somebody says that you have very high productivity, that means you are making output, you are producing plenty things, isn't it? You understand? So now, what is total productivity? Total productivity, TP, is that clear? Is the total quantity of commodities produced at a particular what time? as a result of the combination of all the factors of what? Production. Before you can produce, you have to bring out the factors of production. You have to bring them together, is it not? So what are those factors of production? Those things that you need for you to produce. What are those factors of production? Level. What other factor of production? Capital. What other factor of production? Land and what? Entrepreneur. Those are the four factors of production, isn't it? Land, labor, capital, and what? Entrepreneur. Land are the natural resources, including the land that you need. With that land, can you start producing? You need a space, a land, isn't it? And you need the natural resources that you use in working, isn't it? Now, labor is the human resources, isn't it? The human beings that work in the factory where you're producing. Without human beings, can you work? So you need labor. So that's why it's a factor of production. Capital is the money and those little, little things that you need, those assets. Without money and without machines, can you work? So you see that capital is a factor of production. Then lastly, entrepreneur. Who are the entrepreneurs? The managers, isn't it? The people that bring out the money and everything. The people that tell you, this is how you have to do. This is what you have to do. This is the number of labor we need in this factory for us to make gain. You see the factors of production? Yes. So when you bring them together, the quantity of commodity that you are able to produce, when you bring them together, the quantity of commodity that you are able to produce, when you bring all these factors of production, which are what? Land, labor, capital and what? Entrepreneur. When you bring these quantity of factors together, the quantity of the commodity that you are able to produce at a particular point in time is what we call what? Total productivity. Exactly. If you produce high, 1,000, that means your productivity is high. But if you produce very little, 10, that means your productivity is what? Low. Productivity is the output that you can give at every particular point in time, having brought the factors of production together. Exactly. And it's given by the formula, average productivity times level. That's how you get it. So that might give you a calculation like this. They will say, if 40 men we are employed in a farm and they produce an average of 20 tons of cassava per person, calculate the total productivity. Very simple. Total productivity is given as what? Average productivity times what? Level. So what is the average productivity of the 40 men? 20 tons. That's what all of them produce on the average. 20 tons. So average productivity times what level? How many people? 40 men, is it? 40. So 20 times 40 gives you what? 800 tons. That's the total productivity. Is that clear? Now we look at what we call average productivity. Average productivity. What is average productivity? Average productivity is the output per person. What one person can do. Is that clear? You put out 50 years and you put the future of you produce 100 tons. How many tons can one person do if 50 people did 100 tons? How many tons do you see, think that one person can do? Hmm? 
50 people produce 100 tons. If the people were 50 and you were able to produce 100 tons of cassava, then if you have one person, how many tons can one person produce? No. One person can do two. Two tons, isn't it? If one person do two, 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 50 of them will give 50 times two, which is 100. You understand? So the average is what? Two. And that is what we want to learn here. Average productivity. Average productivity is the output per unit of the variable factor. And the variable factor is normally level, isn't it? Or capital employed. So AP is normally total productivity, TP, all over what? Number of what? Level. So let's say they told you that the total productivity of a group of people, say 40 people, 40 men, is 800. What is average productivity is what? Total productivity all over what? Number of level or number of capital, is it not? That's what the formula here says. Now they told you that the total productivity is what? 800 tons. And that 800 was done by how many people? 40 men, which is L levels. So what would be the average productivity? 800 over 40, cancel, cancel, cancel here. 20, isn't it? Can you see that it has resulted to this back to 20? Which is the average productivity here. You see that? So this formula and this formula relate. AP is equal to TP over L. It's the same thing as saying TP is equal to AP times L. Is it not? In your mathematics, you know that if you make AP the subject, this one will go over here and it will be under. So it will not be what? TP all over what? Level equal to what? AP. This formula and this formula are the same thing. You just make AP the subject of the formula. Isn't it? So now we are going to look at another example. We are going to look at another example and it says if 3,000 tons of cassava we are produced we are harvested by 60 men on daily basis. Calculate their average output. Example, if, if 6,000 tons of cassava was harvested by Thirty men daily. What is the average productivity? You can solve that for me. Very simple. Solve it. Solve it. Solve this problem for me before we enter marginal. Productivity. <laughs> You can solve that one for me. Thank you. 